Hi, 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 and welcome to LNA Does Odious Stuff. So I'm going to show you five different tools and tricks and tips on how to convert audio to MIDI. So that's going to be fun. You can go and then create a drum beat out of that. So it's just basically creates faster workflow for yourself. And also if you don't know music theory, also these tools and techniques are gonna help you so much. So let's get into it. I am here, you are there, we are ready to go. Number one is one of my favorite tools. It's so good that I need to tell you about it. It's a Dupler MIDI microphone or Dupler 2, where you don't necessarily need this MIDI microphone. It's just the plugging, which is so good because I can use this microphone or this for converting my voice into MIDI. And let's look into that right now. So when I open the um, the app and then I can create profiles. So when I open a profile, this is what I see. So we have play section and in Dupler 2, we have the option to play it standalone. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> I love it. And then we also can create trigger profile. I can beatbox into here and I can then create drums by using only my mouse. P -k -p. So P is kick, K is snare. So example, let's go here and we're gonna create for C1 uh, kick drum and we're gonna record takes. P Now this microphone recognizes me going p and then we can go to another profile which is acoustic snare and we can record the k After now I've been in the training part here so this is where you train it to recognize your what you want to play and here now I can just play it And then we can do it also on the pitch. If I activate the pitch area, there is different ways that I can also train the pitch to the, the, the whatever I want to do. So if I have a key in my mind, I can go here to the key section. I can already select from here keys that are already happening if I already want to be in a certain key. Or I might have a melody in my head and I can just find the key using this. So I don't really need to know music theory to do this here. Da, 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 There we go. And now we found it. And how cool is that? And now everything I sing will be in this key. So now I can update this and we can see it's A minor pentatonic, pentatonic. So this is one of my favorite parts. We can go to chords and we can activate that. And especially if you don't know music theory, this can be so easy for you to get the idea in your head into chords. Cause sometimes you might not have time to think like, oh, what's the best chord progression for this? How to make it more interesting. So it's not basic, very, very basic chords. So we can actually create very more complex chord progressions just by singing those notes. <laughs> have presets here that you can select but also we can customize our own so I could go to the A minor here and I can select A minor 7, A6-4, A6-2 and so on so it, this is what creates it more interesting out of it. Do, do, do. We can assign different things. MIDI output 10 is what tr trigger, which is the drums. Then we have pitch is in one and chords is in one. And then we have pitch bend, which is also really good. Do so cool. So what we can do now is go to Ableton Live and start playing. So let's just go and create 
uh, drums first. So I'm going to go and add trigger, take off the pitch. There we go. We're going to go to Ableton Live, MIDI, and then I'm going to, uh, it was channel 10, wasn't it? And as I said, we can also assign with as, ease, O's and envelopes into some of our effects. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, that's so much fun. Okay, so that was Doppler 2. So I definitely recommend and to have a look at this tool because as as you could see, it's just super fast and fun way to create, get those ideas from here to Ableton Live. As I said, it works also with a any microphone, but I also have the Doppler Studio Kit. Doppler Studio Kit, which also is a brilliant one for it because it's, it's kind of like customized for this microphone. So definitely recommend having a look at that. I have a link down below for Dupler 2 and Dupler Studio Kit. So check that out. Okay, let's go to the number two tip. Okay, so number two is slice audio into a new MIDI. Slice to MIDI. Create a little vocal. Obviously we need a little vocal for this now. So I could just record something. <laughs> Uh, slice it up, play around and create some vocal things. So we're gonna do is we're gonna right click or two finger click on the clip. And then we have these options to um, convert audio into MIDI. So slice to new MIDI track is the first one. It's this one. So let's just go and click that. And we're gonna get another window. It slices into chunks of MIDI notes, but it does not analyze the musical content of the clip. So it doesn't go like, oh, there's vocals going da, 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 da. but it actually just uh, analyzes it by a rhythm so that's why we have here we can uh, go by a transient which is the high points uh, the, where the volume kind of peaks then we have we can go by measurements so bar uh, half a note quarter note eighth if the audio is in rex rex format the slicing is based on the internal timing. So that's option as well. Or warp marker. Uh, so warp markers are example. I could slice, I could create a warp marker there, maybe there. So I could just manually go and decide where do I want it to slice. So I could create like this. So these are all the different So it gives me a manually option to also detect where do where does it slice? So I could go here and now go warp marker. It says here the current clip region is 32 beats long. This will result in seven slices. And it's really good to notice that racks only allow you to have 128 chains. If you're going to slice up a very very long audio, it might have issues with it. Then we have preset options and presets are actually, you can create your even own presets. So we can have open it up in sampler. In building, it will open up in drum rack. And also we have preserve warped timing. So the timing alternations that are resulted of warping will be preserved. So basically if you have it on, it will sound more realistic. Okay, so we have building. Let's just go for the basic one first and we can see. So what it does, it creates a duplicate track with the same names and it creates a MIDI clip of the same length. 
that are in chromatic sequence. Okay, so we have seven slices and if you double click them, you can see that it opens them up all separately in Simpler. We, you remember all the presets that we talked about? So we can also have these different presets uh, of the macros. It already comes with macros that are controlling these different uh, slices. So that's really easy for me to then control all the slices super fast. And I can just go and play them with MIDI keyboard. <laughs> Or I can go here and we can just create some interesting patterns. Get some longer notes here as well. I can swap them around so I can put slight, if I drag them in a different order, you can see that they're all mixed up. like that. So it sounds pretty cool to me. It's quite a fun way of like actually creating tracks this way. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel! Number three, harmony to MIDI. What that means is identifies polyphonic audio recordings. So example, chords, chord progressions, example, chords in piano or guitar. And here we go, we have the guitar chords and I'm gonna go convert harmony to new MIDI. There we go, we're gonna convert, convert. This time we don't get pop-up menu, we actually just get another MIDI track. There we go, and what can you see here? Chords. And let's listen to it, it gives you analog or piano keyboard options. Pretty accurate. Very nice. That's actually worked really well. And now there's option called synth to piano. So that was like a synth sound. And I can go to the left and it gives you more electric sound. And to the right, it gives you me more piano sound. I am loving that. Okay, number four, convert melody to MIDI. And it's a bit like what we did already with Dupler. So with the bass, we were singing the bass, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da, and we're converting it. So you can kind of do it similarly, not as well as with Dupler too, but you can still do it similarly in Ableton Live. But again, you have a lot less options to for the contrability. contrability controllability for it. It detects the pitches of monophonic audio. I'm gonna create another melody line and I'm gonna sing it here. Okay, so we can do the same as we did before. Uh, so we can add warp markers, but we can also add transients to these. So these are actually transients. Can you see these, these gray marks here? So they are called transients. And if they are uh, uh, yellow, orange, yellow, then they are um, warp markers. We can add transients by right clicking and then insert transient or uh, shift command I. So the transients help detect where does the sound change. But okay, let's just have a look how does that convert. So we're gonna go into the track that we just recorded and we're gonna convert melody to new MIDI track. Convert, 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 convert. So again, it adds a new uh, rack here. We have an instrument rack that already has some Matt Marco Marcos. 
macros. And you can see the melody is here. and I can just actually move them around to correct them. If you do add the transients, then it's it's more likely to go correct. Okay, so here we go. We have that and I'm just gonna add some release and some space amount. And I love that it gives you that automatically already here. don't know what this song is. It reminds me of like a 90s launch music that someone has like a Casio keyboard has and then you just play on the top like a 90s cruise or something. <laughs> I don't know why I created a cruise song but that's that's what came out today. No judging here, no judging here. Number five which is drums to midi. It extracts rhythm from unpitched percussion audio. Maybe I want to add a nice drum so that it sounds less a cruise ship music. So I could go to example the samples and find a very cool beat. So what if I just look for beats? Would that work? Yes. So exactly it's warped a little bit. It's not perfect, but it has a so cool, it has a cool groove. And I go to the transient loop modes, the first one, first one. Yes. So I'm just taking the transient, all the noise from the be between away, just so that this convert is going to be a little bit easier. So we're, ver the, it's, it's easier for able to detect where the kick is, where the snare is, if it's a bit more cleaner. So I'm just going to take that down. Basically, we can do the same thing as we did before, making sure that all the uh, transient points are exactly where they're supposed to be. Just make sure that all the noises are detected. So example, that one hasn't. So I can add uh, transients there. Otherwise it looks pretty good. I can just go ahead and it's the last option here. Convert drums to new MIDI track. So let's have a look what it does. So it usually does pretty good job of detecting kick, snare and hi-hats. And that's exactly what we want so that we can have our groove. So example, it added extra kick there. So I'm just going to take that away. Perfect. And now we can just go ahead and change our drum kit if we want to enter. Already that sounds so much cooler. Interesting track, interesting track. Well, um, everything has potential, I think. Everything has. Hey, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And remember to go and check out Vocalia's Duplo 2. Also, thank you so much for all my Patreon followers who are here, my Patreon family. So together in Patreon, we are we I give feedback, we have uh, weekly live streams, we have Discord, we have master classes coming up, we have so much cool things happening there. So that's a way for you to kind of chat with me directly and just connect with other like-minded people. So these people, thank you so much for being here for me because without you guys, I couldn't do this as my job. So thank you. Um, but hey, thank you so much for being here. See you next Sunday. I post every single Sunday. So see you here then. And we're, oh yeah, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will be here when new things and cool things are happening. Okay, see you next week. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.